There has been rumors over the past six to nine months that one day Tesla was going to release a full self-driving subscription service, and that day is today. So until around 20 minutes ago, uh, when Tesla sent out the, the message that full self-driving subscription was now available, uh, you had to spend the $10,000 in order to purchase full self-driving capabilities for your Model 3, Model Y, Model S, Model X, um, in order to get features such as summon, auto lane change, navigate on autopilot, the main features of full self-driving that are what kind of transform your regular Tesla Model 3 from an electric car with kind of adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist to the future autonomous vehicle that Tesla is trying to create. And although this feature a year ago was priced at $7,000 with the increase in demand of Tesla cars and the ability for Tesla to kind of just charge whatever they want for their software, uh, they've raised that price to $10,000. Uh, but today with the subscription service, you can spend $199 extra per month. So let's say you're financing your Tesla, then it would be an additional $200 on your monthly payment for your Tesla. And that would allow you to have full self-driving capabilities on a subscription-based service. So now if you go into your Tesla app and you go to the upgrade section, you can now see a your typical buy for the upgrades. Most likely if you own a Model 3 like I do, you'll see an acceleration boost and you'll also see the $10,000 for full self-driving, but now there's another tab for subscribe and that's where you'll see the $199 price tag for the subscription service for full self-driving. So for $200 a month, the price of some cars, you can add the additional features that full self-driving offers to your Tesla without spending the insane upfront cost that it would typically cost you in order to get those features. So this is kind of a new way if you wanted to potentially try out full self-driving just to see if you could use it on a daily basis or if you enjoyed the features that it brought, you can actually sign up for the $199 per month for the full self-driving. It'll be pulled from the bank account or whatever account that you have tied to your Tesla account. And you can cancel that subscription whenever you want. So you try it out for the first month. You don't really use the features that come with full self-driving. You can always cancel that membership. And as soon as you cancel, it'll complete the billing cycle for that month. And then next month, you won't get charged for the, the subscription. So what is the kind of the math look like if Maybe this isn't a trial, but you want to do this for an extended period of time. So at $10,000, full self-driving now becomes a part of the car. And there's been a lot of discussion and stuff like that in the past on whether Tesla can or can't make software transferable or non-transferable in some cases. So let's say I own the Tesla, I buy full self-driving. If I go to sell that Tesla on the used market, does the person who buy it also get the full self-driving capabilities or do they have to rebuy that software package? Um, for the most part, as it sits right now, as soon as that item or that, that feature is purchased, it sticks with the VIN number and it stays with the car. But with the subscription service, that no longer is the case. You're the one subscribing to the service. As soon as you cancel that or you sell the car, the car no longer has that capability. So to reach the $10,000 price point that full self-driving costs, uh, if you wanted to pay for it in one lump sum, you would have around 50 months of that $200 payment in order to hit that $10,000. Now, of course, with tax, it comes out slightly different in different states, but around $2 or $210 in my state. And for $210, you're looking closer to 48 months of full self-driving capabilities paid on a subscription service in order to meet that you know, $10,000 price point. For most Tesla owners, you're probably going to own the car for more than four years. So if you wanted full self-driving capabilities uh, after maybe you test it out for a month or two, then the $10,000 is definitely worth. Uh, then the $10,000 lump payment is probably your best bet in order to save money as the owner of the car itself, as well as increase resale value when you do eventually try to sell the car as full self-driving capabilities at that point would be a selling feature of the Tesla that you're selling. But if you're only gonna keep your car for let's say two years, or maybe you're leasing your Model 3, 
uh, or you're leasing a Model Y, then maybe the subscription service makes sense. At $200 a month for 24 months, you're looking at $4,800 for full self-driving capabilities on your Tesla, and that kind of changes the game if you're a Tesla owner. Uh, full self-driving brings a whole different realm to a, a Tesla, but at the same time, there's a lot of innovation that still has to happen with full self-driving to get it to its finished state. So maybe you hold off for a little bit, try it out for a month, see if you like it, maybe cancel the subscription and rejoin down the line when the subscription and the full self-driving capabilities themselves get more advanced. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. I hope you're excited about the subscription service just as much as I am. If you are, leave some comments down below. If you have any questions, leave those down there as well. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.